Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Wanted to jump on and do a fun little um, DIY with you guys today um, using acetate. So I've been using this sort of really fun pink acetate here and it's by Basil Basics Paper and it's called Mylar in Pink Rose. So that's the acetate I use. I get that from um, Spotlight, which is an Australian craft um, shop. You guys can probably get it um, in any other craft shop as well because I'm pretty sure Basil Basics is an American, um, American company. So, um, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, let me see. Does it say... Actually, it's... Oh, I have no idea, actually. Um, yeah, what come? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry about that. Anyway, going on a tangent. <laughs> Just mumbling away there. Um, so I thought we could create a cute little acetate pouch. Now, I've already stitched this one up just to see how it would work it's my first time making these and I can't do the stitching on camera either guys because I barely have any room on my desk as it is I have like the smallest craft desk ever um, so you wouldn't be able to see anything you'd literally just see the top of a mach sewing machine so um, what I've done is I've folded over some acetate so I'll just get this piece here as an example. Um, so I basically folded the acetate over and then I stitched um, along the bottom and down the sides. And then I flipped it over and I stitched sort of along the top there, but leaving about sort of a half a centimetre because you do not want to stitch over your part that's going to be like the pocket. So just a bit above where the pocket sort of starts. Nice. Do a bit of stitching along the top there, down the sides and across the top again. And then you're able to fold it over. So as you guys can see there, I've stitched down the sides, down the bottom. You've got your pocket section here and then I turned it over and then I have stitched along the top leaving about half a centimetre from where the pocket opens on the other side and then stitched down the sides and along the top um, and then I've just folded it over. So I've been, I've been um, gifted some like Velcro dots and I thought I'd use them. It's my first time ever using Velcro dots and I thought they would work really well um, for this project. So let's just see where we need to fold it over. Might, I think that's the middle there, hopefully. I don't know, do you guys measure where you put things or do you just put them down like I do? So I think that's a good spot there. I just need to make sure the top bit is going to line line up with that um, that piece there. I don't know how. So it's about just above where I've stitched actually. So about. Maybe about here, let's see. That's not too bad. Could be a little bit centered a bit better, but it does the job. And you can take this off being acetate, so that works really well. So, so put my finger here, go like that. And hopefully, 
Oh, look at that. That's the middle. So there we go. Now we have our um, acetate pouch. And I thought I would um, decorate the top with you guys now that I've shown you how to do that. So I thought maybe we could use some like all heart because I thought this pink acetate goes perfect with the all heart collection. It would also be perfect um, for Valentine's as well. Um, as you know, Valentine's is coming up. So I've been doing um, some Valentine's projects. A lot of it which you know I haven't been able to show you because it's for um, something that I'm doing which we can't reveal just yet so um, I'll just grab some of my all heart if I can find it I did pack a lot of my all heart away um, because of the fires so I'm stuck stuck inside today guys and that's why I'm doing this um, this um, craft with me video um, yeah I can't go outside the smoke is really really bad at the moment and it's affecting my asthma so um, I've just found some all heart stickers so I want to see where I maybe want to go with that oh, you can't get these anymore they've gone out of stock guys it's so bad and I love like I love using you know the pink can and and the floral pieces and the bee and the heart on this um, sticker set but what can you do so maybe you want to do a bit of layering I'm wondering whether or not to use this um, this rainbow because that might go really cute with if I do a bit of layering and build something up so I'll just stick that there for now but I want to stick it down completely yet until I know you know what I want to do um, Like I said, I did pack a lot of my all heart away, so this is going to be um, going to be interesting, you know, just in case we have to evacuate really quickly. We've got suitcases and everything packed to go. Um, my husband did want me to evacuate with my kids, and I said no, I'm not. I'm not leaving you behind. Like. We're a family and we stick together. So that's just what it is. Like there was no way I was going to leave my husband, guys, and separate our family. So, um, you know, I think if we're all together, um, we can we can stay safe together instead of, you know, me wondering where where my husband is. So I, I wouldn't have been able to have slept. So. Um, Alright, what do I want to do next? Kind of heavy. Oh, I've got this big pink roller skate that Stephanie sent me, but that might be a bit um, a bit too big actually to use on this project. Um, I did use it for another one, like a little banner I did, and it turned out so cute. you guys can see because of you know all that shine there <laughs> um that actually looks quite cute so i just need to find some pieces to kind of build it up and give it a bit of um bit of dimension so let me find my chipboard see what pieces we may want to use you guys know I love my hand Put this little hand whether or not I put that like there 
I'd love to use some like stars or hearts around this project. The coffee cup, that's another one of my favourite pieces from this oh, yeah. collection. But that's not, not too much. Have this little heart piece here. It's quite cute there with the the rainbow the rainbow heart. I don't know whether I want to keep that there or not. So that's why I'm not pushing anything down yet until I know that that's how I want it to be. Um, where are those silver hearts I had just here? The chunky donkey all heart. Um, let's see if that would look good somewhere along here or whether that would be too much. Yeah, it might be a bit too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to need like another word sticker or something or I don't know whether to just sort of keep it you know, like quite simple, whether to go extend the heart out to here or something like that. Um, I have these puffy heart stickers as well from, oh, what collection is this from? Oh, I did challenge. I'm forgetting now. Um, Pink Paisley, Lucky Us. I don't know whether to just, you know, keep it sort of simple like something like that. Take that off. I just know, like, I love, I love heart, putting hearts on things and crosses and things like that. So I could always put a cross on here and then look real sort of like 80s Madonna. <laughs> You know, like the illustrated faith crosses that could look cute. But, yeah, not sure. Something. Um, need something else up yeah, here yeah. with a bit of dimension. I don't want it to have too too much dimension um, because you know you've got to try and open the pouch, and then you've got to be able to fit like something inside like your items you don't want it too junk chunky or um your velcro velcro isn't going to like close it's going to be oh, too fat basically i'm so sorry about my voice like this smoke is just you know it's affecting like our our throats and everything like our breathing um Sorry, I'm knocking the camera too. Just grabbing a chipboard, um, one of the little silver chipboard hearts. Could you start the edge circle? Or, actually, or the star. 30. The star could be quite cute. Oh, nice. I made a ramp for us. Right. Nice. Oh, no, not nice. There we go. I love this chipboard piece that says girl power. I'm wondering whether or not to use that. Oh, come on. I... Wait for me. So it kind of says good yeah. days ahead, girl power, but that might be a bit, I don't know. Guys think that that's too much. What 
water pump. Oh, it's just right here. I don't know what do you guys think? I know you can't really tell me right now, but uh, could be quite cute. I'm meeting, I'm meeting. I didn't want it to go in the middle. I don't know what it is with me, but when I'm doing things, I don't like to have things centered in the middle. I like to have it to one of the either side. I don't know, it's just the way it looks with me like i think it looks better when it's off to the side than rather smack bang in the middle it's just something you know i've always done the way i've sort of crafted so i didn't see him oh no i think that's quite cute i don't know if we need maybe a couple of just little like um gem stickers up there actually so oh hold on i just had an idea Wondering whether <laughs> to pop like a little cross on there. Over here. Mm. Cute. Uh, what do you guys do you think I should use a cross or not? Over to the side there, like tucked under the girl power, maybe. All right, let's see where my gem stickers are. I had some over here. Sorry, my desk is so messy. Um, oh, these are quite pretty. I'm almost out. These um, doodle bug design sprinkles, they were such pretty colours, like gorgeous sort of pink and lilac sort of colours. Really beautiful. So I think a couple of those. I was also watching these videos that said that um, there's a secret present. It could look but quite they cute. The spot. But they just replaced the spot where the saxophone is. So Sorry if you can hear my um, son in the background. He's in the same room as me playing his games. Yeah, I hate clickbait. Secret prison. Secret prison. Actually, let's have bigger. Yeah. Bigger one. I don't know if that's that's too much or not. Like with the gem stickers. Oh, found hunting. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that good enough? <laughs> I know all the shines probably like in the way, but you don't want to take it away from that that beautiful sort of um, acetate. Like I think it's so pretty. And I think that I think that's quite cute actually. So I'm quite happy with that. So let's just push everything down. I think that's really cute. So a couple of silver, like silver hearts would have probably looked quite nice on here as well, but um I think I'll just leave it at this for now. I'm yeah, I'm happy with how that's that's turned out. I wonder how many 
many kills I got in the last game. So, I don't even know. yeah, really pretty. And then you can just open it. And then we can pop some, like, goodies inside. So I've made quite a few cute little, like, mason jar sequin shakers for Valentine's. You could pop those in. Yeah. Like, lots of different um, embellishments could go in here. What? Someone just left me. So, somewhere else. you know, those cute little... Um, embellishments I made yesterday you pop those in there just to give you an idea of what can go into your pocket shut it up there we go so, so like I said you want it to be in a bit of proportion or it might start to look a bit funny but yeah, I'm really impressed with how oh. that's turned out. And for my first go <laughs> for an acetate pocket, I thought that turned out really cute. So yeah. I hope this has inspired like you guys as well. Um, I know some of you out there don't have sewing machines, so it makes it a bit harder. But maybe you could try with other different, different tools. Like I said, I don't know if a fuse tool would do the same, the same job or... Um, yeah, because I'm not too sure on the material, like whether that would melt or not. But, um, yeah, I'm sure there are other ways of, of creating this project without using, you know, a sewing machine. Um, you know, you could probably even do it just, just using maybe even a hot glue gun or just any type of glue. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful new year. Um, it's, yeah, it's now 2020. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's well and safe and thank you for all your, um, love and support and well wishes and, um, yeah, thanks guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.